Hello, this is Hans Forschner with Napkin Engineering with a quick introduction in uh, defining 3D directivity uh, within SoundPlan uh, version 7.1 and um, how to orient your speakers. Uh, here is an example of a little uh, stage with uh, four light speakers, uh, four point sources defined uh, in front of the um, like area that's a beer festival. And, um, the sources, uh, the speakers are defined as point sources, so the defined with X, Y, and Z uh, information. We have, in this case, a front uh, right speaker array. We have a spectrum defined right here, and the spectrum is defined in uh, third octaves, uh, the emission and the source library. So here is the A-weighted spectrum. Uh, here are the values, A-weighted and linear. Uh, we have defined a 3D directivity, frequency dependent. The uh, frequency dependent basically allows me to assign directivity for each octave of, in this case, third octave band. We have an overview of all the third octave bands uh, and which directivity uh, element from the 3D D, uh, library is assigned to it. We can uh, select that uh, with a pull down menu right here. Uh, so the 3D directivity library uh, in this project uh, has uh, over yeah, about 96 uh, elements here. Um, we can import directivity data through a CLF format. So file import allows you to select the uh, CLF formats. Uh, there's a CF1, CF2. Uh, it's the CLF format is a common loudspeaker format. Uh, supported by a number of companies that provide uh, data for uh, audio, uh, uh, like interior modeling, like um, CAD Ease and uh, some of the other software. So a lot of this information you can uh, get from these companies or from manufacturers of speakers. Um, in regards to reviewing the data here, uh, you pick one of those. Um, there's a comment section which uh, specifies where the data came, uh, come, uh, came from. Uh, like some of the newer CLF data, uh, you have much more information. Uh, so here, for example, here from Community Pro loudspeakers, where the data was measured and so forth. Uh, then on the diagrams, you can look at that in the XY plane. So that's basically looking in, uh, out of the speaker and we can change the angle. Uh, so in this case at zero degree, that's the front of the speaker. And then here on the bottom right, you see kind of like how we page through this uh, directivity um, and to the back of the speaker. Uh, I typically like uh, the XZ or the YZ um, look of uh, the data. Uh, so in this case here, we have the XYZ. So that's uh, like a view on top of the speaker. Uh, actually, uh, in this case, it's a cross section, and the uh, YZ it's basically uh, on top of the speaker. So you're looking uh, if the speaker is kind of like, uh, pulled down, um, and uh, you have a kind of like, uh, an idea of the two dimensional uh, directivity of the speaker. Now, in regards to definition, uh, front is the Z axis, Y is left, and uh, the X axis is up. These are important to kind of remember uh, in regards to um, the uh, orientation of the, uh, the speaker in the three-dimensional model. So we go back in the library, we accept that the reference, and uh, so here we have our uh, speaker uh, spectrum assigned. We have a sound power assigned to this. And uh, now here on the 3D tab, we can orient the speaker. Uh, typically, I uh, when you start the, the, uh, kind of initially, um, it starts with the speaker pointing. So with resetting, I'm resetting it. So here we have the speaker pointing up. Uh, we have uh, the X, the Y, and the Z in the original global X, Y, Z uh, orientation. At this point, uh, I typically first of all uh, rotate around the the Z, uh, the, the Y axis, pointing it down. And um, so in this case, now our speaker is uh, horizontal. Uh, the the x-axis is pointing up. And at this point, we can orient the speaker pointing forwards. Uh, maybe we uh, want to uh, uh, orient that so it's uh, kind of pointing us slightly down. So we are doing a tilt down by 10 degrees. So tilting it down. 
And at this point, uh, maybe we decide to uh, point the speak a little bit to the uh, right of the uh, stage. So with that, you have your speaker and orientation of your speaker all defined. If you have any questions, uh, yeah, maybe shoot me an email or call me at 714-441-3488. Thank you and uh, 